Hey guys, welcome back. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the Mary Sue just keeps on giving. So this article about Brie Larson, you know, Captain Marvel, uh, coming from the Mary Sue and they're blaming Comicsgate. Yeah, which is funny. Which has nothing. Brie Larson can't blame it. Comicsgate making 50 videos about how she hates white men. First of all, we're not Comicsgate. What? And, and, and I'm sorry. The comments were made basically said... You know, they didn't want white guys involved in a press tour. Um, but she's allowed to make that. She's allowed to say that. She's allowed to, you know, it's a little odd. You'd think that they're, they're trying to get people into the theater. They would tell her just to shut up because she keeps saying these things that are just causing them more and more trouble. Gosh, she would just she's keep her nightmare. mouth shut. People might you judge the movie based on the movie, not based on her. And, they're, and, and people are forming an opinion based on what she keeps saying. Geeky, it is not your place as a white woman to tell another white woman to keep her mouth shut. I mean, the white woman that should have been a black woman in the first place? Well, there's that. Anyway, go <laughs> anyway, ahead. Um, after Larson made... See, I was I was gone for all of this. After Larson made comments about wanting her press tour for I Captain saw Marvel the comments. to be okay. more inclusive, trolls, Comicsgate... Trolls began to insult her in her oh, film. Oh, of course it's that Kate Gardner again, so yeah, go ahead. Claiming she was being racist and sexist against white men. They've even spammed Rotten Tomatoes with bad reviews of the film, okay, which is I not even out that. yet. I actually ironically checked that day before it was coming out and everybody was talking about it. And what it is, is there's not bad reviews. What it is, is you know, before it comes out, you can say if you want to see it or if you don't want to see it. And a lot of people are saying they don't want to see it because they're tired of the politics surrounding it. And, then, and some people even said, you know, I might have been interested in seeing this, but after all the comments being made around this from her I don't really want to see it now so I think that Disney has a problem here and I think if they would just keep her from talking yeah you know they might have a lot less issues they're having oh my god yeah I mean seriously she is she is a a train wreck uh for Disney and Marvel Studios uh, Larson has now come forward and clarified her comments in an interview saying, what I'm looking for is to bring more seats up to Which the table. I understood she was saying. I mean, right. I honestly got that. I wasn't thinking she meant no white men at all. I got that she's trying to say. And But my comment is this. We have, we need to bring more people, uh, you know, more women, you know, different, you know, minorities into Hollywood because there are not enough of them. Well, then why don't we have a campaign to bring more male, male teachers in? Because there aren't a lot of male teachers. I mean, there are, but compared to women, there's a lot more women. Why aren't we having campaigns where there's more male nurses? Because in the nursing field, there's a lot more, more women than men. So I'm like, where are these campaigns for that? I'm just like saying, I mean, granted, it's not her field, but I'm just saying, I mean, I didn't take it as she meant no men, white men at all. I took it as what she's saying she took it as. But I'm just like, I'm just like, why? Why are you using this? I, she needs to, she needs to really, um, th she needs somebody to tap her on the shoulder, I think. And, and be like, hey, maybe you shouldn't say that because we actually want people to come see this movie. Yeah, or, or if you um, are trying to push that, you know, you could have done this without making a big to do about it, publicly announcing it. You know what I mean? And yeah. no one probably would have thought anything of it. You know what I'm saying? If she just went ahead in the press store and kind of kept it to that, I don't think anybody would have even noticed. Because, but she had to make a big, yo, know, here I am, and then she's mad because she gets backlash for saying something that's pretty much dumb. Oh God. So let me let me read this. Uh, I need to take a deep breath because there's a lot here. Because the Mary Sue's very wordy. Uh, the Mary Sue's very wordy. Larson handles it beautifully, but the thing uh, is that is is. But the thing is is. The thing is is that <laughs> she shouldn't have to clarify. That she isn't some man hater. Okay, I want to interrupt you for one minute. How come she doesn't have to clarify her comments, right? Right. But other people like Chris Pratt say anything, and then how dare he? He better give it an apology and a full 20 page explanation repent, about why he said that. Repent. What's what I'm saying? How come she doesn't have anybody explanation? But if a male says something, they owe an explanation. Like when they made the joke about, you know, um, Black Widow being a, uh, you know, being a tramp or whatever, and that, you know, they made a joke, they had to all apologize. For saying it because how dare they? Yeah, I know. Uh, but I know. she doesn't owe anybody apologies for anything. That was never the point of her original quotes or the other quotes she's made about diversity in film criticism. Larson is using her position of privilege to uplift other women, especially women of color, even though she's replacing Monica Rambeau. Who is, yeah, not a white woman. Uh, yeah, basically, they should have given it to Monica Rambeau. Just saying, just saying. Because she's an activist and advocate. She's not trying to take film journalism away from gatekeeping white men, but rather level the playing But you field. are gatekeeping white men. That's the thing. I mean, I understand what she was saying. I do, I do get what she was saying. I, I understood what she meant, but you, you basically are gatekeeping white men. So I mean, you, that's what you're doing. So that is what you're doing. Um, I'm just saying, you know, it, it, I'm tired of this whole equality is not equality, it's revenge. If it was equality, it wouldn't matter. 
if there were, you know, a mix of, of men and women and other, you know what I mean? That's equality. Uh, this is like, um, you know, I keep saying it's, it's, it should be quality, not revenge. Anyway, go ahead. However, because Captain Marvel seemed to have struck a nerve with a toxic fanboy. I'm a woman, just Lar saying. Larson is now forced to clarify comments that didn't need clarification in the first place. You mean like other people who've had to do it because they said stuff like men that you ma demanded apologies for, even if it was innocuous comments that didn't mean anything? What, uh, now, this is what she said in, in Vanity Fair. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. Uh, what I am saying is if you make a movie that is a love letter to a woman of color, there is an insanely low chance that a woman of color will have a chance to see your movie and review your movie. Wait, 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 wait. It's a, a love letter to a woman of color. What? Um, Mo I'm really lost at this point. Monica, <laughs> Monica Rambeau was Captain Marvel when I was a kid in the 1980s. She was a woman of color. Maybe, uh, maybe Brie Larson, you should be giving up your seat. I don't understand this. Wait, 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 Oh, I'm tired of this. It's just not for you. A Wrinkle in Time was written uh, decades ago by a white woman, but beyond that, they made changes that really they did. Need they did. I mean, made it, to the source material. It was bad. I'm not gonna. It just I'm wasn't a good lie. movie. It wasn't a good movie. It had the potential to be a good movie, but it's actually one of my favorite I don't books. Need a forty-year-old white dude telling me how, what didn't work for him about a Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. So what your answer is, I don't need men to tell me what to do because Captain Marvel wasn't made for them. That's what she's saying. Yeah, here's- and here, There's half your audience. Boom, That's half go. your audience is gone. And I think- I'm sorry, not half the audience is white, but dudes in general, go ahead. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I think, no, I think I think her comments are going to, I mean, they can seriously, you can take the, the Captain Marvel box office and track like every time Brie Larson opens her mouth, there's a drop off and another drop off and another drop off. Like, I mean, you can correlate uh, some of the stuff she says publicly to a drop off in in uh, forecast revenue well, for this movie. I do not need a four year old white dude to tell me what he didn't work for him about a wrinkle in time. Well, we don't need you to tell us what we should and shouldn't like and about your activism that has nothing to do with this movie. You know, if you want to be an activist, that's great. Go be an activist. I am 100 percent behind that. If you're you know advocating for you know improvements and things. What I have a problem with though is when you keep making these comments like like these ones and, and the other interview where she was going on and, and about cell phones. I was like, what? And like of privilege of owning a cell phone and also there. Yeah, but privilege. And I'm just like, you know privilege. what? I'm so sick of it. You, you know what? You should have checked your right privilege and said, you know what? This should have been. Uh, you should have been a Monica Rambo. It should have yeah, been. Yeah, I know. You know, black woman. <laughs> right? You should have checked like, the privilege. Brady. I don't need you as whatever old you are, white woman, telling me what I should or shouldn't think. And I don't need the woman in this article telling me. You know, I'm tired of these other women trying to tell me that I don't exist because it's all men. And if a movie fails, they're going to blame it on all men. So if the movie fails, dudes, it's all going to be your fault. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No, it's not, it can't be their fault that maybe the movie wasn't good. It has to be yeah. all men's fault. Nothing in either of her immensely important quotes, immensely important immensely quotes, quote. Whoa, wow, says, I hate white men. They shouldn't see movies, however, because Larson is an outspoken activist. Her words are misinterpreted by men who want her to fail. Oh, God. And give them a legitimate reason to hate her and her film. They don't like her because she's been kind of a stick up the butt twit about since the beginning. And people don't want the, people don't want the film to fail, but it, what you're seeing out of the trailers does not look very good. I'm sorry. After all, Larson not smiling in the trailers can only get your hate train so far. Well, this is a person who always writes this bull crap. I mean, they're, 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 it's clickbait bull crap. God, this is so weird. But this is like the only reason the Mary Sue is even relevant anymore is for uh, YouTubers to mock them in videos. That's the only reason the Mary Sue is, oh, is relevant. Captain Marvel is outpacing early ticket sales for properties on both sides of the Marvel DC no, Island, including not. Aquaman and Wonder Woman. I don't believe it. I don't believe Isn't it. Is it the same thing about Solo? And Solo, now, they're, now they they're backpedaling and saying that they think it's only going to be 80 million now instead of the ridiculous, what, 200 million they were predicting or whatever, uh, they, 100 some million they were predicting. Right. And the thing is, is you can, you can look at the, the, the similarities between Captain Marvel and Solo are shocking because there's yeah. all, all this, you know, announcement. Fandango ticket sales skyrocketed in the first week, and then you saw the predictions drop and drop and drop. And then the the box office for that weekend was actually less than any of the analysts predicted. I'm result. sorry, I'm, I'm too busy laughing with the next next sentence. Okay. The trolls, as much as they wish, will most likely not negatively impact the final box office for this film. 
Uh, I think it's going to. They didn't think it was going to impact Solo either, which has been receiving stellar early reviews. I wasn't seeing stellar reviews. I saw some people making some comments, and it wasn't stellar. Like, I really wanted to like it, but it wasn't good. <laughs> you know? I don't know. But it is important to acknowledge that a lot of what Larson has dealt with is intense sexism. I'm a woman! Because she's a politically vocal woman, and the trolls don't I'm like a vocal that. woman! And I don't get... I, don't, I, I mean, you know, whatever. I'm so tired of this. See, this is what I'm talking Check about. your privilege, Geeky. I, I'm just... Check <laughs> your privilege. How just, dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oppress this, this other way, white woman this other, other white, white woman, woman. <laughs> I know. check your privilege i'm just so mad because i'm like i'm so sick and tired and anybody who is in the same boat as me be it uh you know another minority be it a, a woman uh you know someone who's you know lgbtq uh somebody who's you know different ethnicity than white whatever they're trying to say is the minorities I, I know a lot of you, um, actually, there's a lot of people who do agree with what we say. And it's funny because they're in the same boat we are, where they're immediately they're discredited and it's only white men. And even if you step up and say, but, but you're wrong because I'm a woman and I don't like this either. Nah, -uh, it's all white men. I, but you're wrong because I'm gay and you're standing for my gay rights, but you don't need, I don't need you to because I don't, I, I'm, you're wrong. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you're a straight white guy. You know, I'm just saying, it's, I'm just so tired of this whole head up the rear utter crap that everybody is anybody who doesn't agree with them is that like like fresh off the boat head, head up the rear, rear. head Any, up the rear everybody who doesn't <laughs> who doesn't agree with them is automatic so you're marginal like i keep saying before i said again you're already marginalized as a minority to begin with then you're marginalized again by the people claiming they're defending minorities because you don't agree with what they say and it's yeah. like it's like can you be any more insulting and rude? Anyway, I'm just and saying. She is like the she is like the pinnacle of privilege. At least she admits it. I mean, you're talking Hollywood elite white woman, you know, who's mm -hmm. gonna school everybody on on diversity and. I didn't like, mind her so much until she started. Until she out. started talking. And I actually didn't know she was. A, <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't know she was a big activist. I'm sorry, activist. I can't say that because I'm I, a guy. I didn't know it. she was this big activist no. until like until she started making the whole articles about it. And honestly. Um, I was kind of like, you know, hey, we'll give a chance, whatever. And I still don't want it to suck. But uh, I'll tell you what, I've been more turned off by her attitude than I've been turned off by anything else. I really have. Because even everybody else is mad about her not smiling. I was like, you know what? No big deal. Um, a lot of the other guys didn't smile in their trailers right, either. Right, right. So, you know, that's, that's, I was nitpicky for me. And I was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's like, it's still like, and eh. And then they started with the hero and, or the hero and all that. And then pushing this woman, woman, woman thing. I am so tired of these characters that are frankly so shallow that the only reason there are strong female characters because they say so because it's a woman. Yeah. I mean, I just want good characters. I don't care if it's a male or female. And they keep saying, well, she's a, she's the best, period. It doesn't matter if she's a male or woman, or male or female, male or woman, a male or female. And my thing of that is that's what I want. I want a good character that doesn't matter about their gender. I don't want it shoved down my throat that she's the bestest, fastest, greatest ever because she's a woman. I want it because she's a good character. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I don't know how the movie's actually going to be, but I really do think that her making these comments uh, is, is absolutely impacting it, the box office. It's because <laughs> you know, you're alienating a bunch yeah. of people. You're totally alienating a bunch of people, and it's not smart. You know, even if she thinks these things, it's probably not smart to go announcing them. You know what I'm saying? Not before, uh, not before opening weekend. I mean, just let the movie speak for itself. And right now... You know, people might have actually been like, okay, we'll give it a shot. But now it's like, God, you're, you know, pissing so many people off. Right. Y you can definitely, I think you can trace back, uh, you know, the, the box office predictions dropping on this film to every time Brie Larson has, has a, a, a media junket or something, press right. junket. Or she thinks she's going to put an article in style. You know, it's clearly a bought and paid for puff piece. I'm just like, and then already they're already setting up that they're not going to affect it at all. But if they do, it's because it's all because of men. It's all because men ruining everything. And it's like, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't suck, but I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some comments of people who saw it and I wasn't seeing stellar reviews. Yeah, so, I mean, this kind of, you know, brings me to the, the point, you know, I, you know, I wanted to make with this, where if this movie fails, they're mm -hmm. already they're already setting up to blame guys. They do have everything. It's always, it's always the male fault. Oh, she didn't do well because, oh, sorry, they're claiming it did fantastic. Uh, it's because of men. Man. And The Last Jedi did well, but Solo didn't because... I don't know why they claim Solo didn't. Oh, Star Wars Fatigue. Oh, Star Wars Fatigue. That's, that's, right, that's actually right. the more correct... I'm so, speaking of fatigue, I'm tired right now. So. Yeah, Star Wars Fatigue. Uh, oh, we, we released two Star Wars movies uh, too close together. It's like, no, you you released uh, uh, 
mediocre Star Wars movie after a really shitty Star Wars, divisive Star Wars movie. And yeah, the audience is tired of Star Wars. So that right. is correct. It really was Star Wars fatigue. It's the audience is tired of Star yeah. Wars. And again, I didn't want the, I didn't want to, I didn't want Captain Marvel to do bad. I didn't. I, I actually wanted to see it. And I was hoping it was going to be good. But what I'm hearing on some of the reviews, I don't, I don't know. And then when I, she just keeps saying stuff and I'm like, why? Do you keep opening your mouth? And whether I agree with her or not, that's not the point. The point is you're in the, you're right before crunch time on a big movie release. Now is not the time. You know, actually, wait, yeah. a, wait a month, wait two months, and then come right, out and right. say, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I was kind of doing this my press tour. Um, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the saying? I've been I've been throwing this one around. Um, she thinks she's playing chess, but she's barely playing checkers. Yeah. Like I think she thinks this is the smart thing to do. Like this is gonna be, you know, and she's basically saying, I don't care if this movie makes money. I don't care if the critics like it. Uh, this is activism for me. And I can tell you, there are bean counters at the Walt Disney Company who will strongly disagree with you, Brie Larson. Yeah, I, I don't uh, they know. They will strongly disagree you with you. You can have your ideals and you can have your thoughts on that. I think I've just saved that information. I think she's thinking in her mind, if I get out, the people will come because I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm, all my activism. But they've already proven that very small percentage of America is on that extreme activism bandwagon. Like eight, eight percent. And right now... Even the people you're, you're fighting for, right. a lot of them are on your bandwagon. I'm just saying. So if you want there to be a Captain Marvel 2, uh, you need the other 92% of America to be on board with this movie, and you're alienating a good Oh, I don't think it'll matter. I think even if it does bad, they'll still put her in charge of the Avengers, and now there's talk that they want to do an all-woman Avengers team, and she'd be leading it and everything I, else. I think she's going to be I think she's gonna be the leader of the Avengers anyway. I really do think... I don't know if that's a smart move. They are going to position... This is just my personal opinion, just... I. I think, spoiler, potential It all spoiler. started with her. Yeah. You know. I think they're going to uh, kill off Steve Rogers or he's going to get gone somehow and they will bring in Carol Danvers to replace. Because you can't have two captains on the ship. No. You only got one captain. I think they're going to make her the replacement for Captain America. And, um, you know, again, just, this is not thinking clearly. We don't even know how people are going to react to this character. But, I, but, I, but just to wrap this up real quick, this whole article shouldn't have to clarify her comments. Why? Okay, you know what? Then there's a lot of people who shouldn't have to clarify their comments. But if it's a guy and he says something that you don't like, do you, the same people are all there, you know, yelling, well, you better apologize and you better clarify what you meant by that. I see all the time that if it, even if it's a joke, well, he, they can't even joke. How dare they? But Brie Larson says whatever she wants and she doesn't owe you an explanation. It's, it's like, good. well, so why does everybody else owe you an explanation? Yeah, well, I think that's it. I think the people who... Uh, and again, you know, we hear about people saying, you know, don't apologize to these people because they won't take the apology or the twist your apology. Uh, people like Chris Pratt, I think, you know, should just be like, this is why I believe this is the way I'm living my life. I don't owe you. I'm using him because he, they, they attack him all the time. And it's like, dude can say, for being you know, a farmer and a hunter, dude basically. can say, That's... Hey, the sky's blue today. And they'll be like, how dare you? How dare you? You just insulted women because you said the sky was blue. You and know, I'm pink. like, what yeah, I know. It's like, how you? dare you? That you know, the strong women don't like blue. You know, oh I mean, something stupid like that. And know, it's like, and then he has to apologize and clarify what he meant. And this happens all the time. I'm using him because they do it to him mo more than anyone. But she doesn't have to clarify anything to men. She doesn't owe you an explanation. You, you, all you white misogynist pigs who can't stand strong women, except that I'm a woman, and I'm a pretty darn strong woman. And I think this woman needs to stop talking because she's actually hurting the movie. She is. And I think what's, but the thing is, I, I have to wonder if, if some of the brass at, at Marvel are afraid of the backlash if they try oh, to sure. shut her up. Like any other actor, well, any other male actor had, you know, if they were out there saying stupid stuff like this. It'd be like, shut up. Just mm -hmm. shut up until after the movie comes out and shut up. They can't tell Brie Larson to shut up. Because if they tell Brie Larson to shut up... I'm sure there's some women over there that can tell Brie Larson to be quiet. Some women, yeah. But if Kevin Feige, who is in charge of, of Marvel Studios, went to Brie Larson and said, Hey, Brie, uh, shut up. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine? Um, I, just, I just think that the woman needs to stop talking. And I don't mean that in any offensive way. I'm just saying you're doing damage to the... Whether you want to offend men or not, men are still one of the biggest part of the... Mar I mean, just women are too. But men are huge, huge... Uh, target audience for the MCU and um, women are, women are as well um but I'm just saying I'm a woman and I'm I'm like getting thinking you're going too far and I'm a woman and you're you know taking me off and you're so I'm sure you're taking off a lot of men you basically are just telling men uh you don't want them there um I'm just saying now I understood her original comment what she meant was I understood what she meant I understood what she meant I understood what she was saying but it's the fact that she gets a second chance to clarify her statements 
if this were a guy, it would be like, no, you, you're, you're a terrible person. And anything you say, any, any attempt to apologize is just, you know, going to be seen as, as backpedaling and, and, and mansplaining. And, and, and it gets and, me to yeah. keep talking about privilege and stuff while sh the character shouldn't have even been white to begin with. <laughs> Isn't like, that the kicker? I know. You, it should have been Monica Rambeau, I think. If you're going to do a Captain, uh, Captain Marvel movie. Uh, it probably should have been Monica. My so, head just hurts. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah, so should we wrap this one up? Yeah. So at the end of the day, uh, if this movie fails, they're going to blame men. Right. They're going to blame men. And, I'm, no... and I mean, I'm, just, I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it is. But I've seen some people make some comments about the early, they've seen it, and it's they it's not sounding good to me. But that's, you know. Well, at least there's the cat. So the cat might save well, that's the, what I keep saying. <laughs> save the film. At least I'll have a spoiler with Coops. the toy. Oh my God! We posted the picture yeah, of the toy yeah. and the cats and in in the hand like cast and a, type yeah, like mask. a muzzle. So. Oh, did we just ruin the movie for you? I'm sorry. Most of the people watching this video probably have no intention of seeing it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Well, the toy ruined it. Go oh ahead. my God. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, men will be blamed for the failure of Captain Marvel if it does fail. We don't know how it's gonna do. Um, instead of blaming uh, Brie Larson, um, uh, you know, saying things maybe she ought not say until after the movie is released just to maximize box office potential. Just saying. Then she can still say it, but wait. Just wait a little, just wait a week, Bree, wait a week. Uh, anyway, uh, this has been Clownfish TV. This has been Neon and Geeky. Please subscribe. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.